Battlefield 5 worth purchasing in 2019? Real quick before we get into this video guys, if you are new around here and you do enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment telling me what you think, and most importantly hit that subscribe button as we are so close to 2,700 subscribers, 3,000 is the goal before this year is over, I would very very much appreciate that. So let's get straight into this, and I don't want this to seem biased just because I am a Battlefield 5 content creator, uh, this is me speaking from a neutral and general standpoint i'm going to give my honest opinions on the game i'm going to give its flaws and i'm going to give its like pros uh so you know this is where you go ahead and pick and choose which ones you agree with and which ones you don't agree with and then at the end you make your final conclusion on whether you should buy battlefield 5 or not in 2019 to break this video into parts i don't know how many parts exactly but i know it's going to be broken into parts starting off firstly with it's, an, it's a first-person shooter, probably one of the best, if not the best, first-person shooter out right now. Yes, the game does have its bugs, but so does every other game currently out on the market. But what you get with Battlefield is a realistic, beautiful, just intense experience. Something that no other first-person shooter or any other video game can currently give you out on the market right now. Especially a multiplayer game like this you get tossed into these massive 64 player battles into these massive battle royale matches that can last five minutes 20 minutes half an hour it's an that's absolutely insane you will definitely not get bored uh of just the basically endless killing that this game offers you it's it's absolutely insane it's very fun it's very addictive uh, especially if you're a new player if you hop into this game from zero fresh start you're going to instantly notice that this game you will be hooked you're gonna enjoy the combat you're going to enjoy the atmosphere the sounds of the game the way the game looks it's absolutely beautiful probably the best looking game currently out on the market uh for these current gen consoles and if you're on pc man this game is probably gonna look 10 times better than any other game if you crank the settings all the way to max Moving on into the character customization portion of this video, if you are someone that's into customizing the way your character looks and you want to be completely different and stand out on the battlefield, then this is the perfect match for you. Not only can you pick female or character characters, you can also go ahead and completely customize the way they look on the battlefield, even though this is a first person shooter and you barely will be seeing your character the majority of the time this they are still giving you the option to go ahead and customize the way you look from helmet to torso gear to pants to weapon skins you have the full nine yards to go ahead and choose what you want for your character specifically there are a ton of customizations especially with them adding a whole ton of new free gear well, with the tides of war assignment updates this is the perfect match for you moving on into microtransactions a very picky and not so good subject to talk about but yes it's true battlefield 5 does have microtransactions no they do not help you in the game or help the way you play all they do is fix the way your character looks they are basically cosmetics and this is something that a lot of people do enjoy like in fortnite fortnite has made so much money off of selling cosmetic items and this is something that battlefield 5 does really well by sticking to the world war ii theme and adding some world war ii themed cosmetics into the game so if you have a little bit of an extra budget and you want to go ahead and stand out even more you can go ahead and head on into the armory and purchase some of the rare and epic items that get added into there Touching up on the last part of customization in Battlefield 5. Now with no means is this me saying that this is all you're able to customize because you're able to customize much more than all I am just saying. I'm just scratching the surface of what you're basically able to do in this game. But vehicles, you're given the ability to use tanks and airplanes and those are even customizable from the paint job to the nose job. <laughs> the nose job, I know that sounds funny. A serious note, yes, you are able to customize the nose of your plane and that to me is absolutely awesome now moving on into the most important thing about battlefield 5 the weapons you're given about 40 to 45 primary weapons to go ahead and pick from then you're given four main classes to choose from assault recon medic and support the assault class giving you access to the assault rifles semi-automatic assault rifles as well 
then the recon class giving you access to bolt action rifles and self-loading rifles the support class giving you access to shotguns light machine guns and mounted machine guns and then the medic class giving you access to carbines and smgs just like character customizations the weapons also have a customization tree you can go ahead and choose what kind of optic you're going to have either a three times scope if that weapon allows you to have a three times scope a reflex sight an iron sight or a telescopic scope if you want to go ahead and put that on your weapon you can also go ahead and pick a camo that's going to fit into the map that you're about to play some of these camos are given for free some of them you have to unlock through some difficult challenges and then some of them you have to go ahead and purchase with company coin the in-game currency for battlefield 5 which is also free all you have to do to unlock the battlefield currency is rank up every time you rank up you will unlock company coin and you will be able to use that company coin to buy weapon skins and character customizations as well and if you want to stand out even further onto the battlefield all you have to do is get a weapon to level 10 then you unlock a mastery assignment which will give you the option to go ahead and unlock the golden camo for that specific weapon. This is something that I've personally done to the majority of the weapons. Some of the assignments are difficult but if you are someone that likes a hard challenge then I highly highly recommend that you go ahead and master some of these weapons and give it a shot because you will not be disappointed by the way that your weapon is going to end up looking once you're completely done with the mastery assignments for that specific weapon. Moving on into another very important thing about Battlefield 5, that's going to be its DLC and its Tides of War, which is basically their free way of saying, hey look, here, have some free stuff in the meantime while you play the game. DLC for Battlefield 5 for every single player that plays is absolutely free. No longer do they have the premium system, which I honestly thought what is a little bit better than the Tides of War system, just because the Tides of War system has had a little bit of a rocky start. But do not get discouraged by that, because right now, Battlefield 5 has more maps in the works than any other Battlefield combined ever. Yes, we've only received two new maps in about six months of Battlefield 5 being out, but hey, I don't blame them. The game had a lot of issues when it first came out, and they've seemed to have fixed the majority of those issues. But now that the majority of those issues are gone, we can now look forward to even more new maps, especially in Chapter 4, which starts June 27th with a brand new map. Not only are we getting a brand new map on the 27th, but we're getting an extra three maps during the life of chapter four alongside with new weapons and even more character customizations for you to go ahead and fix your character to exactly your likings moving on into game modes in battlefield 5 we have the main game mode which is conquest which gives you 64 player battles in some very big open maps where you're able to use tanks planes transport vehicles or just play as an all-out infantry or sometimes you're put into a, a much smaller map where you're able to either use a vehicle or just completely play as infantry and go ahead and try to get as many kills as possible but do remember to play the effing objective Not only that but you're also given limited time game modes which are added with every chapter tides of war update that comes out for battlefield 5 Sometimes some of these limited time game modes are good, sometimes they're not that good, but hey, they're limited for a reason. Sometimes the community loves them enough where DICE and EA make these game modes permanent. Also, you are given probably the most crazed and most hyped game mode currently out on the market, which is Battle Royale, currently called Firestorm and Battlefield 5. And I personally think out of all the Battle Royales that I've played, this is the best one because it's intense, it's very tactical, and just overall, the nature of the way it plays out is absolutely unique. I haven't played any other Battle Royale that ends up playing the way that Firestorm does. It's always a different match. You're always going to get a different result with a different ending in Firestorm. You know, something like in Fortnite, you come up against someone and you have to build and build and build and build. Not like that in Firestorm. You have to use your skill, use your abilities, use every little thing you have at your disposal to try and get an advantage on the enemy, which sometimes ends up not working, but sometimes ends up working for your favor and causing some only in battlefield moments. There are a lot more things that I didn't cover in this video and I won't cover just because I do not want to spoil them for you. As like the single player, there are a couple war stories, one of them being very good in particular. I won't say which one it is because I want you to go in by yourself and experience that for yourself. 
But that's basically where I'm going to wrap up this video. And to conclude this video, I'm going to say yes, if you've never played Battlefield 5 or if you didn't give Battlefield 5 a chance just because of the rocket start, I think this is the perfect time to go ahead and jump into this game. You have a ton of weapons, a ton of character customization, a ton of weapon customizations, and overall free DLC, and even more a battle royale. So trust me, go ahead and give this game a chance. You're not going to regret it. Now to end this video off, I would like to ask you guys to go into the comment section and tell me if I convinced you or if I didn't convince you enough to go ahead and purchase this game. Also, if you did enjoy this video, consider hitting that like button and also consider hitting that subscribe button so that you help the channel out and you help me grow here on YouTube. I would very, very much appreciate that from me to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next one, peace out and take care and hopefully I'll see you on the battlefield.